In this video, we are going to discuss Pascal's principle. Pascal's principle states that the change in pressure of an enclosed fluid is transmitted the whole way through the fluid. So right now I have drawn here a container where we have a small opening and a large opening. And there is a fluid enclosed in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a force over the surface area here. So we have force one and area one. And a pressure or change in pressure is going to be then exerted the whole way through the fluid. So that the pressure increase here equals the pressure increase over here. So we're going to call this force two and this is area two. Now remember, this is the change in pressure that is transmitted through the fluid. So that change in pressure uh, at area one is going to equal that pressure at area two. So it's the pressure that's the same, not the force. So we're going to have force one over area one is equal to force two over area two. So if I solve for force two, Area 1 is less than area 2. So since we're taking a larger number divided by a smaller number, this is always going to be greater than 1. So we're going to be taking a number greater than 1 times force 1, which means that force 2 is going to be greater than force 1. So this is the nice consequence of Pascal's principle in that you can apply a smaller force over a smaller surface area, transmit it through a fluid, and get a larger force out of this larger surface area. So this is something like how a hydraulic jack works, where you can use the hydraulic fluid to exert a force in order to lift a vehicle, and it's not the same application of force at the other end as the then weight of the car. So you're going to apply less force to actually lift the car.